need for trains. Welcome to the highway to the Dabble Zone. Maverick here. Welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Today we're going to be taking a look at some new items that hopefully will be your wingman on your layout. Let's check out these hopper cars and see if this interests you. These are, of course, the two bay offset hopper cars from Atlas. As you see, I have some really cool looking road names there, like uh, Main Central. You got Milwaukee Road. You got an early Norfolk Southern. I got the Redding. And of course, I got a couple still in the boxes there. I got the B&L and the Canadian Pacific. Now, these, in, these cars, rather, really nice well put together cars there as you can see i do have metal wheels so these do glide very nicely on the track and these are rather inexpensive we're selling them here at yankee doubler for 18 dollars and 17 cents so you could definitely mix and match all these together and have a nice long hopper train on your layout or if you want to have multiple hoppers on your layout i got you covered Ugh with these three packs of pretty much everything you've seen. So, Canadian Pacific, I got Redding, pretty much every one of the road names that I just showed you, I have a three pack too. So if you wanna get a nice long unit train with cars with different numbers, this is the way that you wanna go. Now the multi-pack here sells for $54.50. And that's again, a really nice deal to have for some nice looking cars on your layout. These are from the Train Man series of Atlas. These are nice, well put together cars. So if you're looking for these, check out our website, yankeedabbler.com and see if you can get these rolling and pulling car, uh, coal on your layout today. Is your railroad writing checks that your wallet can't cash? Who cares? Check out these 33,000 gallon tank cars from Atlas. And I have some really cool looking designs here. And this is a really neat looking design car. As you can see, these are really long cars. So you're gonna need a little bit wider radius, at least a 18 or a 22. But these are really neat looking cars. As you can see, I have a tremendous amount of detail. Everything from the hand railings to the uh, walkways. These are just really cool looking cars there. As you see, I got the Canadian National there. Got the Penn Central. I think the Penn Central is a really cool looking design there just with those colors. And these are just really neat looking cars. I mean, there's not much more I could say about them other than I think they look cool. And especially since they're a more of a modern design, if you have a modern type of railroad going on your layout, these are gonna fit perfectly. As you can see, once again, these cars glide with the nice metal wheels that we have there. And let's take a look at all those nice little detailing parts that we have there, brake wheels and everything. These are really cool looking cars. And the neat thing about them is they sell for a really reasonable price. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.99. This is a, a really good deal for a car that has a little bit of weight to it too. So you don't have to put anything to weigh this down. It's gonna stay on your uh, train. It's gonna pull a nice long unit train with one of your SD70 Max or your SD45s. So come into Yankee Dabbler, check these guys out because I think you're really gonna enjoy them. Goose has brought these by, and I think you're really gonna like these RS3s by Atlas. Check out these puppies. As you can see here, we have here the a really neat uh, representation of these early Alco diesel designs. I have here the Burlington Northern, which I always think is a great look at paint scheme. And speaking of great look at paint schemes, check out this Green Bay Route one. I think that is super sharp the way that the gray, the red, and the black, and the yellow really accent each other. That's a really cool looking design. And then I have here the Lackawanna diesel, and that is a really cool look as well. Now these engines had DCC, they have sound, they have everything that you would expect from a high quality Atlas piece. And as you can see, it is a great representation of some of the earliest type of diesel looks. And we're gonna hear in a second, you're gonna hear that early style of diesel that almost sounds like it's going to give out because it's really working hard to pull the engine. So these are really cool looking engines. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $129.42. These are really cool. I have multiple different numbers too. So you check out our website to see the, uh, which ones uh, fit your railroad. And I have other designs as well. I have RS11s, I have RS45s. So I have different types of diesel locomotives but let's check out what these RS3 sounds like and I think you're really going to enjoy what these engines sound like. Alright, it's time to start the RS3. I would tell you how I start these engines up but then I had to kill you. Alright, as you can see, headlight is on and away we go. As 
you can see it has that startup sequence. I always thought it sounded like the engine was like just about to give away. It was struggling. Here is the horn. Here is the bell. All aboard. You know, we don't just sell trains here at Yankee Dabbler. We also sell models like this F4B Phantom 2 Jet. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you what, you put one of these together, you'll be dangerous. Check this out at yankeedabbler.com and if you're interested in some jets. But truthfully, I'm feeling the need for steam. Check out this great this ball, ball of fire. fire in the boiler. This is the Broadway Limited Cav Forward, the Southern Pacific 4105. And as you can see here, this is a really cool looking steam engine. This is a very unique one. Now the original Cav Forwards are designed because one of the increase, uh, increase in visibility for the engineer and fireman going on trips, especially a lot of areas that had uh, tunnels and other terrains that kind of impeded their view. They wanted to get as close to the front of the uh, train as possible. So they designed this type of locomotive that had the cab in the front. You can actually still visit one of these today at the uh, California Railroad Museum in Sacramento. And it is a really cool looking piece to see in person. It has that all about it. It's a really neat looking design. As you can see here, I have a lot of really neat features here, including this ramp here that includes the, uh, that would have uh, connected the tender and the steam locomotive. So that's kind of the opposite of what you would normally see on a regular steam locomotive. I had the neat Vanderbilt tender there that was obviously an oil burner, as were much of the trains in the West. They use oil rather than coal because it was more abundant there. And I love the design on the cab. When we take a look at the front there, you're gonna see the, ca uh, the bell right above the cab there we got the marker lights there got a mini little cow catcher there this is just a really unique looking design here and definitely if you have something like this on your railroad you're going to be uh you're going to stand out a little bit more because it's unlike all the other traditional steam engines that are out there now this is a Broadway limited piece, so of course you are paying for the quality that you're getting from it. But this particular articulated steam locomotive is actually, we're, uh, retails for $5.99, we're selling it for $4.79.99. So that's actually a really good deal to have on a really high price, um, you know, high quality looking design here. And of course, if you use that engineer hall uh, coupon code, you would get an additional 5% off. So this is a really cool looking engine. And hey, why don't we check this out? Because that's what we like to do here. All right, it's time to buzz that switch tower. Let's start her up, shall we? Okay. Here is the whistle. The bell. As you can see, it's already smoking up, and away we go. Some of the neat features that this engine also has are a variety of crew talk or announcement features. Check these out.
coming up to the portal, let her report that the signal was dark on three track. Let me know what you have there, Roman. Permission to depart. Be advised, switches on the north end might be against you, so go out looking out for switches. That's the radio. Send me a little features to add on to the engine. Now arriving on track one, train number 4105, the USS Enterprise. So that's a great engine for driving around the yard or Taking it to go to a volleyball game. Anyway, as I said, this uh, particular engine retails for five ninety nine. We're selling it for four seventy nine. It is a great deal. It's a really cool looking engine. So if you're interested, come to Yankee Dabble or go on our website, check it out, and you'll feel as awesome as well this guy. All right. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in to what's new here at the Dabbler Zone. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, make sure you click that button and you're going to get caught up with everything that we have on the channel, such as what's new in Yankee Dabbler, what's going on in his lab, interviews, and much more. So make sure you get hit that subscribe button. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming. Anything you uh, saw today is found on our website, yankeedabbler.com, or of course you can go to our store located in Belmar, New Jersey. Now, if you excuse me, i got to get to that volleyball game. Take care, everyone. Dandy Highway to the Dabbler Zone. Dandy Highway to the Dabbler Zone. Oh yeah, it's Highway to the Dabbler Zone.